So continuing my quest to no longer be out of shooting shape in archery, I'm going to be shooting my recurve here today at 70 meters. I have a camera down range, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to shoot my 12 arrow and four minute drill for 100 shots, uh, in addition to warming up beforehand. If you haven't noticed yet, I've been prepping for getting back into shape for archery and I've had a few videos in preparation and leading up to this discussing what's been going on and what I'm working towards. So I'll have links in the description below and a card at the top up there for the videos in case you're interested in those it'll be in a playlist. And like I said, I'm going to be shooting uh, 70 meters here today, shooting my recurve. It's super hot in Florida. It's later in the day than I would like it to be. Uh, so it's definitely going to be a challenge. I'm going to be sweating, fingers are going to be slipping, and it's going to be brutal. But it'll still be a good time, and, you know, I need to get stronger anyway. And I figured every session so far, I've been increasing the overall workload. I'm just adding some uh, rosin powder to my tab here because it's hot and I'm going to be slipping. So I want to make sure that I don't slide on my tab. But yeah, I've been increasing it, uh, the intensity, every session so far. The last one I did was 100 arrows with bare bow at blank bail. Now I'm at a target. I'm aiming. I'll be scoring. Also a time constraint, plus my bow is a couple pounds heavier. My recurve bow is, that is. So I also have something very cool on my bow that is new. You'll see here. This is an R-Core grip, and it's actually my R-Core grip that R-Core will be selling here shortly. Uh, this is the lowered pivot point version of a recurve grip, so I think we're going to call it the recurve LPP. Not quite available yet, very soon, within the next few days on R-Core's website. If you're interested in checking out some R-Core grips, I have links in the description below for uh, their website. That is an affiliate link. It helps this channel out if you click it and then purchase uh grips plus if you use code kaminsky my last name at checkout that's k-a-m-i-n-s-k-i not y at checkout you'll get 10 percent off uh i'll also have that info in the description below but i'm super excited i no longer have the stock white grip on this bow so i don't know i'm gonna see how today's session goes just like the last time i did 12 arrows in four minutes i've got a few bear shafts because i haven't had time to fletch so let's get into it i'm gonna shoot one end to practice get sighted in. I've already warmed up, so I'm good to go there. My draw length may be slightly off because of a slightly different grip, and that's, you know, that's pretty normal. Definitely different feel compared to the stock grip. Much, much better. So all I'm doing right now, just focusing in on how I want to deliver the arrow, tension and direction, really settling in, transferring, and going quickly. All right, hanging a little right. It's been the sights on there. Whew. Since the last video, I haven't shot. Um, I haven't really done much because it's been very busy and I needed a couple days to just let my shooting muscles recover and ca calm down a little bit. You know, 
getting back into the swing of things is pretty challenging, so you gotta give yourself time to recover as well. I'm a little shaky, a little uneven, and definitely a little sore from shooting so much compared to what I've been doing. So uh, that was it, a good enough for warm up. Now I'm gonna get right into it and just jump into 12 arrows in four minutes, and that means I've gotta shoot all 12 arrows in four minutes. I've already done a video previous to this one. I'll have links in the description below and a card at the top up there, kind of discussing to you more about why I'm doing it and how you can use it to your advantage. And I'm not gonna get into that today. I'm just gonna shoot and give you some commentary and feedback along the way, as I usually do in these type of videos. All right, here we go. Uh, 12 arrows in four minutes. I'm gonna do it for 96 arrows, actually, because you can't divide 12 into 100. So I'm gonna do it for 96 arrows. So that'll be it for a total of eight ends. I'm gonna start the time here. Again, counting down from four minutes. My goal is to shoot an arrow every 20 seconds, starting the timer now. First one was a little uh, unsure, you know, the commitment, you gotta be on top of things when you're doing this. Don't let this first end fool you. All right, now the bear shafts. Definitely interesting to see the overall impact point of those hit higher because of the grip change, but it lowers the pivot point, so it definitely is gonna change that. All right, I made it with nine seconds to spare, and I've got what looks to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One ten out of one twenty. So I'm gonna write down the score on the target just to be sure. Neat thing to track. So first end down. So yeah, that was a one ten. I'll get ready for the second end here. Starting the timer now. The hot one today. Triple digit, triple digit heat index right now.
Four seconds, five seconds to spare. One twelve. Oh, all right, second hand, one twelve. I'm already this out of breath. It's gonna be rough. Third hand starting now. When the wind comes up and you don't make a great shot, you can't expect a bear shaft to go in the middle. Uh, four seconds to spare. Uh, 110 even with a six and an eight. Crazy, so that one's a 332 for that 36 arrows. Five more ends to go. All right, fourth end. Halfway after this one. All right, I got one in there. And the breakdown begins. Well, that's either a 111 or a 110 with five seconds to spare. That high right eight um, with the flesh shaft, that went high right eight, where I said, and the breakdown begins, bow shoulder related. Not reaching enough, a little high, harder to get through the clicker. Everyone that's hard to get through the clicker, bow shoulder related. It's about being aggressive with that bow arm and that reach to the target without it the timing goes to crap and so does the control five arrows or five fifth hand
get up. Ah. Eight seconds left. If I can slow down just a little. That's a 108 on that one, I believe. Normally I'm not this out of breath from it. It's hot and there's something in the air lately, some sort of allergen. It's like, I have a constricted airway today. So the breathing's very labored today. So right now what's going through my head is kind of the point of where it's like, I'm almost not necessarily wasting my time, but I'm almost not using it wisely because the most important thing you should always think about is technique and how it's feeling. And if you're not shooting with the technique you want to every shot, then you're just ingraining in bad habits. <clears throat> so this next end is gonna kind of be the deciding factor whether or not I can continue. This is gonna be the sixth end of 12 arrows. So I've already shot 60 arrows doing the 12 arrow and four minute drill plus nine arrows for practice. And if I can't maintain my form on this one, then I'm gonna have to uh, maybe go to blank bail or just not have time constraints and shoot good shots. I'm not sure yet. Uh, you know, I may end up waiting until it cools down later in the evening. I don't know, but I'm gonna shoot this next end and we'll find out if it's gonna if I'm gonna continue shooting or not. And this is definitely something important to recognize because when you know what you're supposed to do, if you can't do it, and it's because of the training style you're implementing that day, you need to revisit the drawing board. Um, <clears throat> but I'm confident I'll be able to fix this. I just want to, uh, I want to be sure. And I wanted to share it with you. A little behind time, 10 seconds behind time. <sighs> Eight seconds left again, 109. I think uh, I'm just gonna need to cut it here. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot one more end of 12 with control at distance, no time constraints. I'm just not ready for it yet. Maybe if it wasn't hot, it'd be okay. You know, who knows? I don't know. The wind feels better that the wind's blowing a little. But, um,. I'm out of gas. I, I'm, I'm struggling and it's like I don't have enough time to make sure I'm doing the right steps. I can tell there's a fault in my setup and I just don't have enough like bracing of the bow. I'm not inside the bow enough at setup. 
I'm not reaching enough. I'm not locking enough. I'm not transferring enough. And I can't even spend the time to integrate it, what I want to do with a mental program in between the times that I have. <sighs> I just can't do it. Also didn't sleep very well last night, so that's part of the problem. Whew. All right, well, I'm gonna go get him. Maybe take three minutes, cool down, and then shoot 12 arrows to finish. All right, I gave myself a few minutes to kind of catch my breath and take my time. What I was unable to really explain due to being out of breath <clears throat> is that you really gotta pick and choose when it is time and when it isn't time to push and to push through. You know, when your form starts to degrade <clears throat> and it really starts faltering, despite you really wanting to shoot more, you gotta choose whether or not you're going to get diminishing returns or not. And training in bad habits and just going through the motions is never good. What's more important is quality for sure. So this next 12 arrows, I'm gonna hammer in quality and make sure that they're real good shots. If they're not good, I'm going to let down and start over. Unlike, you know, the 12 arrow and four minute drill being unable to do so. So that's my main focus. You know, I wanna shoot good shots and I wanna train good shots in. I don't wanna be shooting bad shots. And like I said, just being able to really commit to that set of stepping inside the bow, it's set up, and then really transferring and driving that bow arm forward. It just makes a shot easier when you do it right. But if you don't have the time and you don't have the strength to do it in the limited amount of time, well then you gotta develop it more before you do that again. So that one, a little shaky, not quite stepping in the bow. So give myself a moment to catch up and I'll get back into it. Just not ready yet for that speed, that cadence. And unfortunately I kinda, I wouldn't necessarily say overdid it. I didn't hurt myself or anything like that. I just kind of have gotten to the point of where I'm pretty tired now, so. I need to get inside and get some recovery in, get some good good food, hydration, cool down a little bit, and then maybe consider uh, some some sort of flexibility range of motion work later today. trying to balance the power 50 50. I noticed with bare bow I was pulling more than I was pushing at one point. I think I'm doing the same with recurve. A little lazy on that front half. So I'm being much stronger there. Last arrow here. That felt pretty good. 911 to finish. So I shot a 332 and a 331 for the uh, two 36 arrow passes doing the 12 arrow and four minute drill. And I just shot a 111 to finish. Uh, much stronger, much more consistent, much more controlled when I'm not under the timing constraint. So, uh, you know, just need to get stronger and I need to keep going, need to keep pushing. But like I said, everybody's gotta start somewhere. And that's what I'm tell telling myself 
because uh, you know I'm not I'm not doing this every day, and I haven't been for a very long time. But I'm gonna keep pushing forward. I will get stronger. This will get better, and I'll be able to do a whole day of training, 12 arrows in four minutes in no time, as long as I keep it up. Thank you.